Today, you're going to learn how to use the word eventually in your speech in both future simple and past simple sentences. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j 4 and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use the word eventually. We're going to look at both future simple and past simple sentences. Now, let's jump onto my computer and I'll explain exactly how to use this. Let's take a look at eventually. This is another great adverb. Adding these adverbs to your speech as transition words are really going to help you sound more advanced and more fluent. Now, we use eventually when something will happen at some unknown point in the future. So it will happen, we just don't know when. Justin Bieber will get another mustache, we just don't know when. So because of that, our structure would be eventually plus future simple. This is the most common structure. But did you know that we can use eventually with the past simple as well? And it's actually really commonly used. In this case, of course, we're not talking about something that will happen because it's the past simple, which means it did happen, right? So in that case, when we use eventually with the past simple, it's to say that something happened in the past, remember, completed past action, but it took longer than expected. So let's see eventually in some example sentences using both the future and the past simple. Of course, Justin's example, I'll eventually regrow my mustache. So you can grow a mustache, that would be the verb, you grow a mustache, but he already had one, which is why I'm using regrow, grow it again. Now notice the placement of eventually. Here in the future simple, I have it before my main verb. I'll eventually regrow my mustache. The placement is flexible. I could also put it at the beginning of my sentence, and say, eventually, I'll regrow my mustache. Notice here with our comma, just to tell me to take a slight pause. Another example, we were wandering around downtown and then we got lost. Luckily, we eventually found our hotel. All right, so notice the verb tense, it's in the past simple, so here, eventually means that this action is completed, but it took longer than expected. We eventually found our hotel. Now in this case, because I'm starting with luckily, I would have to put eventually before my verb. I can't say luckily, eventually we found our hotel. That would sound a little awkward. I need to separate my two adverbs with a subject but it definitely is possible to use these two adverbs together. Luckily suggests good fortune. Eventually suggests something took longer than expected. Because they have completely different meanings, it's okay for me to use more than one adverb. So in this example, we have three of our keywords in one sentence very naturally. Now, let's say you ask a friend, did Kara RSVP? Of course, when you RSVP to an event, you either say, yes, you're coming, or no, you're not coming. Did Kara RSVP? And notice my verb tense for the question. This question is in the past simple. Now, as an answer, I could say, yeah, she eventually did. So Kara did RSVP. This is a completed past action. But when I add eventually, it suggests that it took longer than expected. And notice my placement. Yeah, she eventually did. It's before our verb. Now let's see this example in the future simple. Let's say my friend asks, when is Kara going to RSVP? 
I could reply back and say, don't worry, she'll eventually RSVP. So by using eventually, I'm saying that this action will happen at some unknown time in the future. She'll eventually RSVP. So notice I'm using this in a positive, encouraging way. So eventually can be quite a diverse adverb. You can get a lot of use out of it in meaning and in verb tense and even in placement as well. All right, so now you know how to use eventually, but there's one thing I want you to do, and that's to test your listening skills so you can hear your new vocabulary in a natural context. So we're going to use a clip from The Ellen Show where Ellen is having fun chatting with Justin Bieber. Now Ellen's asking Justin Bieber about his mustache, okay? So you're going to do a listening exercise and I want you to see if you can hear your new keyword at a natural pace. So let's do your listening exercise now. All right, now Justin's talking about his mustache, his mustache. All right, so let's do our next listening exercise where Ellen asks him about his mustache. What does he say in reply? Here's your listening exercise. You need to fill in the blank. I'll play it three times. Uh, I, I, I hope so eventually, but right now I'm gonna keep it clean. Uh, I, I, I hope so eventually, but right now I'm gonna keep it clean. Uh, I, I, I hope so eventually, but right now I'm going to keep it clean. Did you get this one? I hope so eventually, but right now I'm going to keep it clean. Uh, I, I, I hope so eventually, but right now I'm going to keep it clean because my wife, she's not really liking it. She didn't like it. She didn't like it. All right, so now you have your new keyword. You know how to use it in different verb tenses and you're getting comfortable with understanding it at a natural pace as well. That's awesome. One thing left to do, you know what it is, you have to practice. So I want you to leave an example using eventually in the future simple and eventually in the past simple and put those in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and of course subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website j4isenglish.com and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying! Awesome job adding some advanced vocabulary that you feel really confident using because you practiced, right? You put your example in the future simple and the past simple in the comments below. Way to go, awesome job. I'll see you in my next video, bye.